Hello and welcome to episode 33 of series 4 of Master League Story Mode. Now the last episode was a particularly harrowing one, many people saying the worst transfer window in Master League Story Mode history. And I would agree with you, absolutely. We didn't get anyone in and we lost our top scorer, second highest scorer in Liga and the man who's been a stalwart of this side, Ferrobori Dori. Yep, he left. His release fee was activated by Argentinian club Colon. Colon, and uh, he accepted it. Yep, he took the big pay deal. Now, uh, I've had a little bit of time to mull this over, and I've had a bit of a discussion with some of you in the comments. I called him a rat. BFF Recon, one of the commenters, told me, stop, no, you can't treat him like that. You can't talk about him like that. And uh, at the time I agree, but now, as I've had time to think it over, why would he leave us now? He's left for the money. He wasn't that old. He had a good few seasons left in him. He could have gone to the MLS. He could have gone to China. Just finish out the season, Ferrobori, but no, he took the payday. And uh, now we're left with, uh, well, no target man in this squad in a uh, attacking style that is based around a target man. Caramo, although he is 185 centimetres tall, he doesn't have the strength or the physical contact or the jump, really, to be that target man. We're going to have to play him there. And then the saddest thing also about the window is we still have Pesetto. It's going to be between Ivy Lopez and Pesetto playing out on the right, I think. Koyalapu luckily is in excellent form, but we need uh, Koya and Kara to start scoring together. That's going to be key. And uh, there's going to be even more pressure, I feel, on Wellington Nem's tiny shoulders. But anyway, I'm over that now. So we'll get into the first game of the episode. We're up against 16th place Toulouse. And uh, really, it's ours to lose because we are the team in form. We are the team near the top of the table. Ivy Lopez on a downward arrow. Well, I think we'll put in Pesetto. Takes us up to 88 team spirit, which is pretty good. And uh, I think we'll probably leave it at that. We could play Wellington back in this front three. It's something I've considered. In Cham, maybe back into attacking midfield. And then Masawamer and Doolin in the uh, in the midfield duo. I don't know. I, I really like having Wellington them there running at defences. We just need Pesetto to start doing well. To start doing something. He's only 24 years old. And he is one of our star players, apparently. He's got decent dribbling. He's pretty quick. He's got 75 finishing. He's got good strength on the ball as well. He's pretty strong. He's got a nice spread of stats. It's why we signed him, and he's got amazing run, speeding bullet, incisive run. Maybe the best is yet to come from him. As I said, only 24 years old. Uh, now is really the time. We need you to start doing something good. Let's get into it. So after the end of the transfer window, Corinne Diacra came out and said fairly explicitly in the press that it was never her plan to strengthen the side and that Dory going out was fine. We had the backup, but we know behind closed doors that there were desperate deadline day deals trying to be made. We couldn't bring in Kalulu. And then we failed miserably to bring in a replacement for Dory at the 11th hour. Yeah. But uh, we're doing well this season. Let's not forget that. We're overperforming massively. Although Dory has contributed a lot of goals this season, I think Caramo can fill in. A lot of pressure on him today. How will he respond? Duarte. Oh, ball through. Looking for Caramo straight away here. It's away from one. Oh, Bodiger gets in. Route one stuff there. I like it. And Cham, nice dribbling, finds Pesetto. It's the ball down the line into Doolin, who's made a run. He'll whip it in, looking for Caramo. The header's there. Very difficult to generate any power from that. Come to lose with their first attack, but in Cham says, not today, not on my watch. And then he puts a cheeky little ball into Wellington Nem. He sees the run of Koyalapu into the box. Carl's drop, good challenge. Well covered. And once again, our attack is foiled. That's nice work to find Alcibiadi. Well played there, Pesetto. Alcibiadi chipped ball into Jan Caramo. He'll take it down in the box. Hit him with the left foot. Straight at the keeper. That was poor. That was a panicked shot from a player who's not been in the goals. And is maybe feeling the pressure. But he got in the right position. Made a good run. Got his body in front of the defender well. And then nice turn away from Somalia. To look to push it in. Oh, Caramo. Kyalapu. Back to Duarte. Cuts back to Wellington Nem. To try and take on Somalia here. Ball into the box to Duarte. Back out to Wellington Nem. We'll put a cross into the box. Koyalapu's there. Jumps for it. Can't get a connection. Still, we push for this first goal. We've had all the possession in this first half. Oh, Decore steams through his man. Now he's going to look for the run from Caramo. Oh, what? How, how can you stop it there, referee? Ridiculous. Well, it's not been a great half. We have had chances. Oh, we've only had one chance. We've had 59% possession. That's a lot more than we usually have. But Toulouse have been sitting back 
the away side happy to frustrate us. And uh, yeah, we're going to need some uh, we're going to need some answers to the questions that they're posing us in this second half. Passetto struggled. We need him to be one of those answers, which is perhaps hard to believe, but I, I do believe. I have to believe now. Long ball. Decore will jump. Easy, easy header for him there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. That was Alcibiades' ball. Oh, he's got away from Decore. No. Back to... Oh, it's a great... F oh, you're fucking kidding me. That was awful. Really, really just poor defending there from Alcibiades. Didn't react. And then no challenges went in at all. That was too easy. And Duarte, slow to react, is an understatement. And we're behind here against the run of play. This is not good. Dooling spots a run of Passetto. Oh, Passetto's nicked him back. Are you kidding me? That is classic Passetto. Just can't quite get a break. He is the bad luck Brian of this side. <laughs> Even though that was good work to uh, almost win it back. Easy interception there for Koyalapu. And Caramo will move it on to Wellington Nem. Oh, the ball out to Passetto is not a great one. Passetto can keep hold of it though. Into the box. Passetto now with the left foot. Oh, it's gone everywhere. The header comes in. And we finally get the goal. Passetto just simply can't store. But he was involved heavily there. And he did really well. Kept hold of it. And it was a good work to get back inside. He got the shot away. It came off Caramo. Probably wasn't going in. But Nem was there to get another goal to his tally this season. And uh, yeah, pretty pretty well taken header really. Keeper was scrambling. Was this going in from Passetto? Quite possibly. Keeper did get down. But I mean, we've got to be happier really that we've uh, we've got the goal and we're back into this one. Come on, let's keep pushing. And Cham, lovely. Steps away from his man. Yang Caramo now. Little chip ball in looking for Koyalapu. Oh, that's good defending. Oh. Dooley into Koyalapu. Looking to link up with Karamo. Oh, and he runs into trouble, but somehow he smuggled it away. Oh, and then he loses it again. Oh, Karamo charges down the clearance. Still young Karamo. Oh, Julian with just too much power. Doesn't have the power that Dory would have in that situation, which would have been enough probably. To work the shooting chance. One minute left in this one. It's time up here in Claremont. Will there be a sting in the tail here? The final minute. Silla puts it into the box. Delort can get a header. It's not clear. Bodiger. Oh, and Cham. Well, at least he's saved us any blushes. But uh, mm, not great. Not a great game. Caramo just didn't do much. Didn't do much at all up front. In those situations where, you, where we've relied sometimes on Dory's pure strength and brutality. Caramo, still a young man, doesn't quite have that yet. Nem getting a scrappy goal. Passetto actually looked good. That's the silver lining to this game. So another single point, and that keeps us in seventh. Uh, Lille, not managing to capitalise on that. They're only a point ahead of us as well. And Mets only three points ahead. So, I mean, St Etienne are miles away. They're 11 points ahead of us. They've scored 45 goals this season. They're on an absolute goal route at the moment. Somehow they're not in the top three. They're doing well. So really, yeah, it's a battle for fifth. That's what we're in. And we're going to need more goals than that. So three short days later and we go to Lille. So again, it's going to be another problem with uh, the reduced numbers that we have now when we get a fixture pile up of this sort. Let's go and see how everyone's looking for this game. Let's get straight back into it. We need to get another win. It's been a while. Caramel or blue today. That's better. Passetto. Oh, I don't know what to do. Ivy Lopez or Passetto. Have to say, Passetto was excellent in that last game. I'm going to go with Passetto. I'm going to give him a chance. He proved himself. Look, Ivy Lopez has been excellent. Maybe we play Ivy. For Koyalapu. That does improve the team spirit a fair bit. No, only by one, but hmm, it's tempting. Everyone else, yeah, there are some tired defenders here, but not really any changes we can make. Oof, I don't know what to do here. I think we'll give, we've got to give Passetto a chance. I'm going to rotate a little bit here. Koyalapu is quite tired. Put in Ivy as well. Ivy and Passetto either side of Caramo. We're having to try some new trios up front. And this one, I think, could have some potential. So there was a few discussions in the comments to the last episode about Kareem Diakra's future. Obviously, this is a Journey Woman series. We're looking to um, follow Kareem's career as she moves between clubs. Because managers do that. I mean, she could be the Alex Ferguson of Claremont Foot. 
stay there for most of her career, win everything possible to win. But really, there would be a lot of attention on Karin Diakra at the moment. A manager who'd bought a team up from Ligue 2, and now in Liga, performing way above anyone's expectations. There'd be clubs looking at her, and should we go? I mean, that's the question. Let me know what you think in the comments. And, ah, what I failed to mention is we're playing Lille today. Completely forgot about the opposition. This is an important game. A big game for that race for fifth. As so we go up against the team, who are just a few points above us. Um, they've had a great season so far as well, so this should be an interesting one. Totally missed that. That's great. Great work there. Long ball, looking for Caramo. Can he win a header? Not anywhere near as much as we need him to. Oh, somehow he gets the header back there. Oh my god, Passetto nicks in. It's a decent ball into Alcibiade. No. Oh shit, wrong ball. Pepe now, away from Incham. Bahuli gets the shot in. Oh my god, it's off the post. Oh, we're under the cosh here. And that's a mistake from Duarte. That's dangerous. That's unnecessary, Ruben. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh my god. Right, Duarte. Let's get a foot on it. Let's try and regain a bit of possession here. Just catch our breath. Lille have really pushed us in this first half. Decore slips it into Encham. We'll find Jan Caramo. Turns away from his man. Edge of the box now. Ah! Oh! oh my god. No, the ball's on. Tiago into the box. Zagadou gets the challenge in, and it's a really important one there. From Big Zags. And that's half time, my god. We've been absolutely blitzed. It's been pretty close, actually, in terms of possession. But it's been so hard to keep the ball. So hard to do anything with it. Only 42 passes made with 50% possession. That's absolutely tiny. We've yet to have a shot. Leal looking very, very strong. If we can keep them to a draw, actually, considering their position in the league, that wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Losing to them, though, that would not help our chances of that fifth place spot. Oh, somehow they managed to pass out of that. They keep it moving very nicely here. Oh, Dooley nicks it back though. Good work from him. And now Caramo. Looking for options here. He's got Nem making the uh, the run. We'll slow things down into Alcibiade. Now Passetto. Into Encham. Back to Passetto. Oh, loses out. We'll keep it moving here. Alcibiade will put it in for Ivy Lopez with the header over the bar. Great start to the half. Ivy Lopez with an uncontested header that he couldn't get on target. Pepe, danger here. Decore, great challenge. Can't get to the second ball though. And Lille will keep coming. Decore misses that one. Into the box to Zagadou. Well cut out. Calmly cut out there by Zagadou. And then wins it back. Finds Caramo neatly. Then move it on to Passetto. Lovely back heel into uh, Alcibiadi. Going to put a ball over the top looking for Wellington Nem. It's an awful ball. That's the sort of play we've been looking at in this half. Just nothing passes like that. Oh, that's come through to Dooley. And now Ivy Lopez with a little bit of time here. Can push it round the corner into Jan Caramo. Oh, it looks to spin inside. Not the right move there. Oh, and Cham loses out to El Ghazi. No, ball into Pepe. Great header away. Oh, Ivy Lopez is dispossessed, though, in a really bad place to be dispossessed. Oh, and a shot comes in. This is desperate. Desperate here. Really tough game, this. And Cham, great acceleration to get onto that. Lopez first time into Caramo. Can he turn and find Ivy Lopez? The Spaniel will finally get us up the pitch. We've been pushed back all the way in this half. Into Caramo inside. Jan Caramo with the curling effort. <gasps> Jan! Jan, he is the man. <laughs> Get in there, Jan. He's not had the best time of it. And there's a hell of a lot of pressure on this young man's broad shoulders. But he gets us the crucial goal here in a game that we have been massively, massively under the caution. It was a good counter-attack. Ivy Lopez stepped inside. Simple ball into him. And then that was a great first touch to take it back inside. And the curling effort in off the post. And that is exactly what we needed. We needed this goal. I mean, obviously, you always need a goal to win a game, but that's really well taken. What a lovely finish that is from the young striker. There's some fresh legs now with Gufran and uh, Koyalapu replacing Ivy Lopez and Passetto out on the wings. 
And then Masawema just add a little bit more defensive solidity on for Encham. Can we hold on to this one here? Oh, great passing again from Lille. Dooling misses his challenge. Decore won't, but they've still got it. Ball in. No! No! It's a great ball in, to be fair, to find Rodriguez. They're just passing it around so neatly. I thought we had it back. Dooling, that was poor. But Decore, when he got that challenge in, but the first time pass is great. And Alcibiadi tracked his man, but just couldn't get ahead of him. And they're right back in this now. Duarte, ball in, looking for Caramo. Oh, it's almost gone straight in. Almost went through there. Oh, Kyalapu will pick this up. Johan Gufran now looking for the overlap of Alcibiadi. Can he get a ball in? He can. Kyalapu will be there for it. And it's not going to fall to us. 84 minutes gone now. Oh, Nem. How often have we seen him do that? Oh, that's nice. Masawema into Koyalapu. Karamo can flick it into him. Koyalapu with the chip. Oh! And Goudin wins it here in the 87th minute. What a finish that is. And finally, are we seeing the shoots? Just the, the very beginnings of a koyalapu Karamo partnership. Well, there they are embracing... They're both about the same age. They're both French. Maybe that's a friendship that could be blossoming. But, uh, well, if he's going to assist him in that style, then I'm sure there will be a friendship to come. Kyalapu laid it off, and then Caramo with a perfectly weighted chip. Keeper came out, and that is a beautiful finish. Just dinks it over the oncoming keeper. And that surely is this game won. I thought we'd thrown it away there. Great to see them linking up. That's something that we could be seeing. I mean, if Karin Diakra stays for years to come, that partnership... Right, come on. Let's uh, let's keep it together. Let's defend now. Oh, Asibiadi steps back into trouble. Allows Benzia, but then does enough just to make up for it. Jesus Christ. I've only got so many heart attacks left in me, Alcibiadi. Oh, Alcibiadi's going on a bit of a jaunt. Into Yanka. That's a poor ball. And now Alcibiadi's massively out of position. And now Benzia, their last chance here. Thiago gets away from Wellington Nem. Still a chance available for them here, Lille. They can work something here. Masawema puts it out for a corner. Oh my god, why are we doing this to ourselves? The time is up. We've played a minute over. What the referee is allowed in this one. Decore will attack this at the near post. Header away, but not enough to end the game, apparently. Although they ended our game in the last game. A stupid time. Asibiadi can header. Wellington Nem still not cleared. Four minutes extra played here. Oh, it's gone all the way out. Yes, come on. Well, that is exactly what we wanted to see. The two young strikers, Kara and Koya, getting their goals in a massive, massive home win against a side right up there with us in the Europa League battle. And I didn't think we were going to do that, to be fair. I really didn't see that goal coming, but it was a very well taken one in the end. We're under the cosh, but I think just having the home fans behind us that extra push at the end was very evident. And that's when we scored what was just another goal to add to Kyalapu's list of goals this season. He scored already. He's scored quite a few, I feel. Must have scored five or six already, which is pretty decent. Caramo gets mad of the match. He needed that for his confidence. Pasetto and Ivy Lopez were a bit more anonymous in this one. Still not 100% sure on that front three. Let me know what you think on the evidence of this episode. I'm not sure. So there we have it. And that will have a... Uh, Pretty big effect on the league as we jump ahead of Lille and Metz into fifth, our highest position so far this season. And now only eight points behind St Etienne. Surely not. Surely not. Probably not. Really probably not. But our goal difference is pretty good as well, actually. Got three more than Metz. We've only lost five games. It's crazy. We've only lost one more than both Monaco and PSG. So in the next episode, another game only three days later and up against Guingamp. The side that managed to sign Jonathan Cafu, one of the players we really, really wanted in the window. That didn't happen. So it'd be interesting just to look at how our players are doing this season. Who's our highest rated player? Well, at 6.1, it's either Wellington in Cham or Ivy Lopez. He's up there as well. Bernardoni on a 6. Koyalapu on a 6. He's scored 5 this season. That's not bad. In Cham scored 5 as well. Let's not forget he went on a bit of a run. And uh, Jan Caramo is 6. Not bad. He's got 5.9. He's got two yellow cards, actually, already. It's pretty impressive. Pacetto has had five assists. 
Mm, but no goals in 24 games. That's just not good enough, is it? Wellington then, five goals, five assists. That's pretty decent. So there we have it. Well, that late goal has left this episode feeling a lot more positive than I expected it to be. I was still really reeling after that first game where it just felt like we were definitely, definitely missing Dory. But then in the second game, the young guns prove themselves. And that should be massive for their confidence. And that's going to be massive for Claremont. So we've got Gingomp in the next episode. They are pretty close. They're in eighth. And we're away from home. So that's going to be a tricky one. And then we go up against 12th place Stade Rene in a game we should be winning at home. And then we've got St Etienne. <sighs> that's not far away. And then Dijon. And then PSG and Marseille. We've got a tough run of games coming up, actually. So we need to be prepared for that. So join me for that on Monday, as usual. I'll see you in a bit.